Okay, uh, welcome to this session for the Sage 50 running our year end routine. Um, what this what this routine does is it um, effectively rolls over our financial year to be where it's currently, as you can see in the bottom of my software, current year starts January 2015. Uh, that's then going to roll forward, so that means it's January, 1st of January 2015 through to the 31st of December 2015. When I run my year end, that's effectively going to update my year end year to read that it's 1st of January 2016 through to the 31st of December 2016. So get myself ready for our next financial year. Okay, the effect of running the routine is that all accounts that are of type profit and loss, so the profit and loss in a standard chart of accounts here, um, starts at number 4,000. So anything 4,000 and below, effectively where we've got a balance in there, all those balances will reset to zero and roll into our profit and loss retained figure, which is the uh, which is nominal 3,200. Okay, so as, as we run the year end, it automatically updates those balances. Uh, the place it then detects whether they're uh, in there is in the chart of accounts. And part of running the year end routine actually checks that our chart of accounts are complete. If it's uh, a new piece of software, or your software is as a standard setup and you haven't amended the nominal uh, set of accounts in there, everything will be fine uh, and your chart of accounts shouldn't have any problems. Uh, in order to check them, I can check them as say, it's part of the routine or I can look at them myself. So we're going to chart accounts. Okay. So in here, if there we've got an incomplete, it says in brackets, incomplete set of accounts. So we can see currently that the chart of accounts are a full set in here. So if I just click edit in there, so anything that we've got there, we've got like sales, we've got anything from 4,000 through to 9999 are all our profit and loss nominal accounts. So we've got sales, those 4,000 to 4,999, 41 to 4,199, and all of the nominals by default fall within those ranges. You can see there's a couple of ranges that aren't populated or used currently. So we've got like 4,300 to 4,399. So I'll just show you what happens if I added a nominal account that would be within that range. So I'll just go in there. Click as I'm adding a new nominal in. Okay, so I want fourth, so I'll put 4350 for instance. Okay, now this does warn us as well as we add this in to say, well, actually, this, this isn't reflected in the current chart accounts and therefore will cause you to have an incomplete set of accounts. Okay, and that won't be reflected in profit loss or balance sheet reports also. Okay, so I'll just put that in, put uh, anything, so I'll just put, say, test in there. Test 4350. Click save now. Okay, so now if I go to my chart of accounts uh, and I check them, so I'll just highlight that, click edit, and I'll now check those. And you see now it's producing me a report because they are incomplete. Okay, so it's in 4350 isn't represented anywhere in the chart of accounts. Okay, so there's, there's our chart of accounts, click edit there. Um, you can see that this one, it does fall outside of there, so therefore would cause problems when we run a year-end because whilst the nominal code itself is in the area of being a profit and loss account, because it's not represented in the chart of accounts, the system treats it as though it's a balance sheet account. Okay, So say profit and loss accounts, um, their balance revert, set resets to zero at the start of the year, whereas balance sheets retain their nominal. So in order to fix that, I can just put in, say, add that to 4350, for instance. Uh, then when I click check, it'll say um, your chart of accounts is complete, i.e. there's no errors found now. Okay, so save that off and click close. So now it's updated, now a chart of accounts is now complete and is fine. Okay, so what I'll now do is I'll actually go in and run the year-end routine. So in order to run the routine, what we do is we click choose tools and period end and then year end. <coughs> Excuse me. This closes all of the open windows and allow it will lose any unsaved data. I haven't got any unsaved data, but now the screen's open. So let's hit continue. Okay, so it's now warning us that the program date is currently set to a date outside of the current financial year. That won't directly cause a problem currently, um, but it's just warning you that it, it could cause problems. But there isn't a problem in mind. So mine's currently set to 31st of March. Uh, my year end is effectively end of December. But that's fine for me to run it in here. So I'll say yes, I want to continue. Okay, and then as I advise, these are the bits where we can then check data. So we've got a thing to check data, so I'll quickly run that one. So that goes run through, runs a standard check data and just confirms that we haven't got any errors, etc. Okay, it's made some comments, and basically the comments are that the last invoice date is dated in the future on those nominal on those customer accounts. 
but again not a problem that is fine in the system um, anything that's errors and warnings do need to get resolved ideally before you finalize your year end uh, or it could cause problems going forward so i'll just close that one off so i've run my check data then check my chart of accounts so that just runs through and does that validation we've already done it here just says yep all nominals are now represented if it didn't it would give me a report off and tell me that 4350 wasn't represented in the chart of accounts okay then i advise to take a backup okay i'm not going to bother with that because uh, i've already got backups of this data it's just a test company anyway but um, that's where you can do a backup okay then it says do you want to archive your data um, this this then basically means that it's available as the system is currently just in case you happen to have missed any reports that you needed off so things like a, a trial balance and um, transaction listings etc so it just warns you that it's going to basically clear uh, the current year's figures uh, into being effectively a previous year which means that you can it's then a struggle to get some of the reporting off that you would have been able to during the year okay so make sure you've got say trial balance uh, profit and loss balance sheet uh, any transaction listings for instance if like repairs and renewals are typical ones that an auditor would like a look at or sundry expenses that sort of thing where they'll just investigate and make sure that there isn't anything untoward in there or make sure that you've analyzed it correctly so that's the that's what the uh, your accountants and auditors will do for you um, once I'm happy with the details that I've got on there uh, and then click uh, to continue and run the year end Okay. One other thing that it just says in here is, so do I want to be the ability for the system to prevent new transactions from being entered before a certain date? Okay. This is a new feature that came in about three years ago. Um, and all it is, is if I tick that and I key a date in there, what it will do is means that as, as I get into the new financial year, so I'd probably put in there the 1st of January 2016. So basically it'll mean it'll prevent transactions from being entered that are dated early on that date. So it means that if there's any of that, I would actually have keyed an invoice in that said uh, June 2016, for instance, or so 2015, and I meant it to be 2016, then it'll get it'll prevent me from entering those transactions. So it's, it's more of a safeguard. Um, you don't have to turn it on, you can leave it off, uh, but I just thought I'd make you aware of that option being there. So it's just really a security blanket to avoid people accidentally posting things with an earlier year than the year that they should be posting for. Okay. Once I'm happy with all that and I'm ready to run that, I just click Run Year End. So yes, I want to continue, so that's going to roll it through. Okay, so present Year End will apply to any existing layout of accounts, so that's fine. Yes, I want to continue. So that's now running through and updating those nominals and resetting the balances to zero. Okay, then gives me a report if I want that. I'm not bothered about that report, so I'll just click Cancel. Okay, so it's now financial year ending has been completed. Your new financial year is now 1st of January 2016 to the 31st of December 2016. So I'll click OK there, go back to my nominal codes now, and as I scroll down, as I get to my nominals 4,000 or above, you can see I've now got zero balances in the system. Okay, so that's as I'd expect, is all my profit and loss accounts have all got a zero balance. Then as I start keying things like invoices, etc. through the system, they'll start building up balances for the new year. Okay, whereas all my balance sheet accounts have all retained their balances that they had at the end of the previous year. That now concludes this session. Hopefully it's been useful for you. And I look forward to speaking to you again in the